Toviyahu Tobit 3. Then I being grieved did weep, and in my sorrow prayed, saying, O Yahuwah, you are just, and all your works and all your ways are mercy and truth, and you judge truly and justly for ever. Remember me and look on me. Punish me not for my sins and ignorances and the sins of my fathers who have sinned before you. For they obeyed not your commandments. Wherefore you have delivered us for a spoil and unto captivity and unto death and for a proverb of reproach to all the nations among whom we are dispersed. And now your judgments are many and true. Deal with me according to my sins and my fathers, because we have not kept your commandments, neither have we walked in truth before you. Now therefore deal with me as seems best unto you, and command my Ruach to be taken from me, that I may be dissolved and become earth. For it is profitable for me to die rather than to live, because I have heard false reproaches and have much sorrow. Command, therefore, that I may now be delivered out of this distress and go into the everlasting place. Turn not your face away from me. It came to pass the same day that in Echbatain, a city of Madai, Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, was also reproached by her father's maids because that she had been married to seven men whom Ashmodeus, the evil Ruach, had killed before they had lain with her. Do you not know, said they, that you have strangled your men? You have had already seven men, neither were you named after any of them. Wherefore do you beat us for them? If they be dead, go your ways after them. Let us never see of you either son or daughter. When she heard these things, she was very sorrowful, so that she thought to have strangled herself. And she said, I am the only daughter of my father, and if I do this, it shall be a reproach unto him, and I shall bring his old age with sorrow unto the grave. Then she prayed toward the window and said, Blessed are you, O Yahuwah, Elohai, and your holy and glorious name is blessed and honorable forever. Let all your works praise you forever. And now, O Yahuwah, I set I my eyes and my face toward you, and say, Take me out of the earth, that I may hear no more the reproach. You know, Adonai, that I am pure from all sin with man, and that I never polluted my name, nor the name of my father, in the land of my captivity. I am the only daughter of my father, neither has he any child to be his heir, neither any kinsman, rather near kinsman, nor any son of his alive, to whom I may keep myself for a woman." My seven men are already dead, and why should I live? But if it please not you that I should die, command some regard to be had of me, and pity taken of me, that I hear no more reproach. So the prayers of them both were heard before the majesty of the great Elohim, and Raphael was sent to heal them both, that is, to scale away the whiteness of Toviyahu's eyes and to give Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, for a woman to Toviyahu, the son of Toviyahu, and to bind Asmodeus, the evil Ruach, because she belonged to Toviyahu by right of inheritance. The selfsame time came Toviyahu home and entered into his house, and Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, came down from her upper chamber. <laughs>